So I, I've wanted to do a show like this for a very, very long time. And it's just been like kind of percolating in the back of my brain for like four or five years trying to like just figure it out. Um, Cause they're really, really hard to do <laughs> and, and make them sustainable on a network kind of TV show. And then, and then on top of that, I came, you know, the image that of the teaser just came to me one morning, you know, uh, cause I was, I lived in Times Square when there was the Viacom, uh, you know, uh, bombing basically, or the attempted bombing at Viacom. And so I'd seen it cleared out in the bomb team. And it's such a great image that it's always stayed with me. And I just thought one morning, I was like, well, what if, what if instead of a bomb, there was a woman inside that bag? And then, and then I was like, well, how would, and then I was like, she was probably left for someone. I was like, well, what if she had like, the name of an FBI agent tattooed on her back and then I was like well what if she had way more tattooed on her back like what if there's a whole treasure map on her back and then I was like well what if it should be her old body really and then um, and then I was like oh this is great and I just kind of went from there so just one quick follow-up to that that's uh it, that's a lot how a lot of ideas come about but I'm wondering now that you've got it all started mm -hmm. do you have an end point in yep. mind do you have an end point in mind it's impossible to do these things without endpoints, mm -hmm. you know um, and the the reality is you know uh, I think people have been burned by shows like this so many times and, and uh, on both the audience and the network side. And so when you pitch a network now, you know, like you don't, like I, it's a, like a one hour pitch when you're like, here's my idea for a TV show. And only about 10, minute of it, 10 minutes of it is the actual pilot that you're being paid to write. The rest of it is like what's actually going on. So they need, they want to know in that meeting that you know what, what's happening. And so, yeah, no, I mean like we have, you know, we're, we just got our back nine picked up, which is fantastic, but we'd been planning the season like it had a back nine. We'd been planning the season like it, it goes for several years. So it's like, there are, we know what, we knew what episode 22 was, you know, on the first day of it, the writer's room. And so we've been writing towards that. And then we know what the second season's about. We know, you know, so it's like, it's important to have that. Because again, shows like these, it's like, it's so easy for them to feel like all middles as well. Do you know what I mean? Where it's just like, it's like a rad pilot. And you're like, oh man, I'm so in. And then you just get like these little breadcrumbs all the way through the season, maybe something towards like the, at the season finale. But for us, we don't like breadcrumbs. We're like, it's like whole loads hmm. of stuff every episode. So, uh, so yeah. Well, you know, I think this show is what network television does really, really well. You know, it's a big, loud fun show it's got great character drama it's got fantastic production value but it also has that kind of like week to week puzzle excitement that you know like cable and binge watching and stuff like that is great but there is something fun about like you know there's nothing more satisfying and frustrating as an audience for like that final moment when it cuts to black and you're like oh no they oh god i gotta watch next week and then like the fun of like the the like talking about it with your friends all week and like trying to figure it out and like you know we try to engage people online as much as possible both the cast and the writers you know we're up for getting into discussions about stuff so um, I don't know, but at the end of the day, you know, these things are binary. Like, we, we felt really good about the show. Um, I think NBC did an extraordinary job marketing it. I mean, like, we have a good time slot. Like, all of those things really help. But why people connect to shows, I think, I think it's a couple of things. I th again, it's, I think it's really fun in a time when people want to have some fun. And um, I think it feels slightly unique, even though it's pretty familiar. And... Um, and you know, I, I you can't discount the fact that like we have <coughs> one of the best casts in television, you know, and uh, and also on top of that, there aren't a lot of like kick-ass women on TV right now, and um, uh, it's really nice to see, you know, I think women not be the victim all the time in an action hour and have them kick a little ass as well. So I think, but again, I don't know. It's like, is that why or is that why? I'm just happy that it connected. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you know, she's so, uh, I mean, like, if it was anyone else, it would be very, very difficult, but Jamie is so gung-ho. Jamie wants more tattoos. She never wants less tattoos. Like, she's just like, because the thing is, it's like, you know, it's so rare in your career, both for all of us, to have something that connects so hard. And, like, you know, when we, Jamie and I went to the San Diego Comic-Con, the show hadn't even aired yet, and people were, like, cosplaying the character, you know? So it's like, to be a part of something that is iconic like that is kind of, that's a once in a career thing. So she really leans into it. She's a huge fan. I mean, she's so bummed she can't be here. She really is pretty sick. Um, but she like, you know, this is, she's a fan first and an actress second. And so she knows like the show can't put her in turtlenecks all the time. So, um, but that being said, we try to make, it's about an hour and a half a day for the regular look. It's like three and a half hours when she wears a tank top and seven and a half hours for the full body. 
so it's it's pretty it's a lot of time it's like she's playing an alien on tv like it's she goes through prosthetics every day 